man. Hey, uh, so many cars. Uh, excuse me. So I need a huge favor. Um, I need a vehicle to be washed. Oh uh, man, I just cocked out. I'm actually I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing later with my my boy here. So, but maybe uh, he could help uh, you out. All right. Well, well, uh, can you help me out? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm actually late. I have to be somewhere. But uh, you can come back tomorrow if you want. Oh, all right. Thanks. Okay, fine. Hey, excuse me. So, can I ask you for a huge favor? Um, I need my vehicle washed, and I was wondering if you could help me out. I mean, I got an appointment at 6, but... Yeah, I got you. Alright, sweet. Thanks, man. Man, this looks awesome, bro. Thank you. Man, you did a really fantastic job. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, you're honestly a really kind individual. Thank you very much. So, quick question, man. So, why did you help me? Uh, you know, I, I quite honestly enjoy the work. Um, I miss working with my hands, you know? You gave me an opportunity that I haven't had in a while. Oh, okay. No, well, look, you did an amazing, amazing job, man. I mean, I know you said you had to go, like, to an appointment, right, or to your daughter's uh, recital, right? Yeah, it's uh, the only time I get to see her. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Um, yeah, would it be okay if I give you a right to your daughter's school? I mean, I just have to drop off something at the bank, but, I mean, I, I wanna help you out. I gotta be there, man, I can't, I can't miss this. Oh, well, how, like, what time does it start? 15 minutes. Oh, in 15 minutes? Oh. Well, I mean, I, I can drop you off. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it'll be quick, man. I was like, okay. I know this is important for you. It'll be super quick. All right. Yeah, so talk to me a little bit more about, like, your situation. Oh, uh, well, it was a real messy breakup. Uh, she, I don't even know what happened, man. She just decided to up and leave as far as I know. Mm-hmm. She, I don't know how the hell she got everything, and then took the kids. I mean, daughter, I'm pay where I can, but she, I tried to offer child support, she won't take it. And my daughter got sick, so I've just been trying to give them money to help with that. But I don't know, man. I don't know if I did something, if she found someone else. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's hard. Nah, dude, that sucks, man. Like, I've been in divorces too, and it sucks. Like, my my ex-wife did the same thing. She, you know, I thought everything was good, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I thought the business was going because we also had two construction companies. Wow. And, um, you know, I, I thought everything was good. I thought she was satisfied, you know, because she looked happy. Um, but, you know, suddenly, just, I don't know, just out of nowhere, she, you know, started changing a little bit. And then all of a sudden, from one day to the next, we, she, you know, surprised me with some documents. And the next thing I knew, we were divorced. And then she took the house, took the kids, took the car, and then she even took the company's plane. Which, ask me how she did that, I do not know. But she basically took everything and then the part where I messed up was she pretty much, I ended up putting her name on like a bunch of paperwork. Cause at the time she was like, no, like, mm -hmm. you know, pull my name, I can help you out, run this. But I didn't know that she was actually, you know. No, that goes. Pretty, yeah, pretty much not sabotaging, but she was taking everything under her name. So as in, as in like in a, an escape plan. So I, I feel you, man, that sucks. Yeah, man, I mean, as much as it sucks, as much as I hate her sometimes, it's, it's the kids, man. Mm -hmm. Kids suffer the most, no matter what what we go through. They have to deal with seeing all this. They start thinking maybe this is how all relationships go. They start, they just, they suffer. And it's like, I don't want my kids to go through this. And it, it hurts, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, my parents, they never divorced, but they weren't happy. 
you know? And then kids have to deal with it. It's just like, what? What do you do? Mm-hmm. I just I feel, I feel lost when it comes to that. I felt the exact same way when I lost my kids as well. And now, I mean, we still talk, but eh, the mother pretty much, you know, makes her way and tells the kids, oh, no, don't be with your father. No, be with, you know, your new stepdad. Um, so I, I feel you, man. I feel you. But things are going to get better. Um, yeah, no, I feel you, man. I feel you. But that's actually why I brought you here. I mean, I have kind of concerned when you brought me somehow I was in the bank. <laughs> no, it's because, um, well, somebody actually recommended me to you and actually told me about your situation. Who, who was that? Um, one of your buddies named Manuel, who's actually a buddy of mine, of, of mine as well. And, um, you know, I, I heard your story and he also told me the story as well. And I was like, dude, I'm going to help him out. So I actually have a surprise for you. You're a very good employee and that's why I have a very good surprise for you. Oh, oh okay. All right, here, come on, let me show you. I reached out to Manuel and I know he has a really, really nice vehicle and uh, I know you're looking for a vehicle. <laughs> so what I decided to do was I called him and pretty much I, I bought this vehicle just for you. Um, you're such a great, wonderful person. And honestly, nobody should go through what you did or that you, you know that you went through, um, nor your kids or anything. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to give you this. Are you serious? Yep. And that right there is your brand new vehicle. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, check it out, check it out. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a brand new vehicle. It's a 2023, I believe. So he wanted to give you that. And um, yeah, it's for you. I don't... Enjoy it. You, you wanna turn it on? Yeah! You like it? It's great, man! Thank you! Here, turn, turn it on. Now you have a nice vehicle for work. Look at the beauty of that. But enjoy, man. It's all yours. I can't thank you enough, man. I Trust me, it. you're good. You're good, my brother. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, you're a very good person and you deserve this. You're a great guy and well, great people deserve great things and that's you. And so enjoy. Don't worry about like the paperwork and all of that. Don't worry about it. We're already taking care of it. Just tomorrow, stop by the office. Uh, when, whenever you uh, finish your shift, by all means, just come and we'll sign all the paperwork and everything. Don't worry, like everything is completely taken care of. And um, yeah, man, enjoy your, your brand new vehicle. And you might be a little bit late for your daughter's recital, but hey, now you have this. So you can drive her to every recital on time. Thank you so much, man. Like I can't, I can't thank you enough. C can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course. Take care, bud. You too. <laughs> you got this, man. Enjoy it. <sighs> All right. Take care, man. You too. <laughs> Drive safe. <laughs>